Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, welcome to this coming week's reading. For this week I am divining through incense. I won't be burning it, it's all be dry, but it's still very, very powerful that way. I really love using this medium, so I hope you enjoy. And then I'll be drawing out cards from the beautiful Guardian of the Night Tarot deck as well. All right, lovely Capricorns. Capricorn, remember to like, share, subscribe, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Capricorn. Mm -mm -mm -mm, Capricorn. Mm, the universe is smiling down at you. I like this already. Boom, from the start. The universe is smiling down at you. There's something that you have been a little bit nervous about. And perhaps, you know, it's like you've been looking through a glass that's a little bit foggy. But don't worry. Things are going to clear up. But the universe, what I see here, something... There's like, you're going to start to see small little changes, small indications or signs, things like that, where things are going to um, unravel, maybe in an unexpected way or in a way that you didn't see. There's something about letting go of how you think something should happen or be, because that is causing nerves, like nervousness in your stomach is what I'm seeing. I get maybe you have a pit in your stomach because you don't know how this is going to turn out. You could be waiting for an answer about something. Let that free, let that go, you know, do what you are doing, but also trust in the process. That's what's showing up here. And the, the reason why I see, you know, the universe smiling down is because it's already happening. Something is already in motion and it's basically telling you it's okay. It's cool. Don't worry, Capricorn. Don't worry. Um, I do see there's something about this freeing uh, spirit, energy, and openness here. Um, something is going to be set free. Something that, in fact, has been moving along. It hasn't been completely stuck, but it's like that. There's a there's some sort of completion here that will result in this you know feeling of being set free or it's, it's some it's it's something that's like being placed or, or some you know perhaps like something that was on pause or, or or on hold of some kind it's going to start to go forward and um some communication that is finally coming in basically for you that you'll be um you know pleased with because now you can start taking certain actions going forward there's something about you um it says to be smart about how you save how you look after your finances or something about your property or even your clothing your shoes so your possessions basically something about um this has to be something specific covering your possessions i don't i uh, let me know how that makes sense to you. Maybe, I don't know if that's home insurance. I have no idea. I, I can't, like, this is very specific <laughs> because this is general reading. There's a certain things that, um, funny things like that that come through. But there's just something about you having to put things in order and just knowing everything that you have, if that makes sense. You know, it could be, like, uh, something to do with a will things like that basically um wanting to be free of things that you don't need anymore so maybe that's why we are seeing like the clothing part uh and just keeping what you are happy with and what you know you're going to use basically yes that's what i see there's also a cleanse or you or, or like a deep spring clean or something you're doing in your home um and keeping it that way as well I also see something specific about you tasting or traveling and tasting new foods, trying out different things, some things that perhaps, you know, you, you, uh, you're curious about and now you get to actually experience it, which is really good. I do get a lot of it to do with cooking or food or something like that, you know. Um, it's like you're becoming more daring, more adventurous to try out these different things. Um, There's a connection around you here, Capricorn, that feels very, it can be very intense or something about it that can be potent, if that makes sense. It's like there's something that feels intense and perhaps before it's, it's like, before in the past, maybe you felt like it, uh, 
there was a fear of rejection or you felt like your feelings were disregarded in some way, but something is changing here. This new energy, this energy of the connection here is, is very strong. And it kind of like, uh, you know, everything that you had been asking for in a person is starting to see, which is good. I do get romantic gestures. I do for some of you. Okay, let's see what the cards have for you. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Page of Swords. Okay. Oh, and the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, all right. All right. Your fellow fire sign. I think it was... Uh, I mean, Earth sign, sorry. I think it was uh, Virgo that also got Ten of Pentacles here. All right. Seven of Swords, Page of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. Nice. There is something that here with the Seven of Swords, you, you felt, I do see, like, things were uh, getting in your way, or certain energies, things that you had to sort of, things that were diverted, you know, things that you had sort of had to navigate and deal with, and the response was just, what I do sense from this, a little bit tiring, you know, um, but you've had to do what you had to do, and I do see your experience, you're going to be able to enjoy a lot more. I do get that. I do get there's going to be something that's going to open up some sort of news communication, a new connection of some kind that's going, that's coming soon, that's going to broaden your horizons. Hence, here we have the Ten of Pentacles. And I do see that soon there's something that feels very like you're going to be able to have the resources to do certain things. There's something here that you're connecting all the dots and claiming for yourself I do get there's another energy around you that feels really good by the way it's like a step in the right direction you know good prosperity whatever it was that's challenging is now working out when it comes to your prosperity seven of pentacles three of swords seven of pentacles and the three of swords okay um and here with the seven of pentacles you Capricorn, you've planted your seeds kind of carefully from way back. And there's, as I was talking about, certain challenges that do come through. Some things that is may not at the time feel like a blessing in disguise, but it is because it, the universe does not want you to be in an environment or in a connection or in a place, space that is no good, no good for you. So as things start to progress and grow, that is sometimes that's when, you know, challenges do appear um, because you're going to know what is true and what isn't. Know people's true colors, something that is, it's, it's, it's time to, you know, kind of, um, in order for you to advance, sometimes you have to let go of something that perhaps didn't have your best interest at heart. <coughs> Sorry. And I do sense that it's a, it's with someone or someplace that you felt trapped with. So if it's a separation of some kind of something that, you know, kind of did not feel right with you, did not jive with you allow your seeds to grow allow something that you've been working on patiently and because and by the way if there is you know this if there was some hold we were talking about with the incense now it's starting to move forward the hold during that time is very important because it gives you that time to focus on something that you needed to focus on to heal to grow to move past this and that's very important there is something that i do see is very much you know, um, meant for you, you know, like it's not skipping anything and that's the best way to be. So your path can continue being strong and long. Oh, justice, like whatever it is that you are wanting, you want it to last a long time. Look at that justice right off the three of swords. I think that is extremely important because 
that belongs to you. Justice belongs to you. And you see we have this strong karmic balance here. Whatever it is that you're working at, when we're talking about a will or something like that, something to get an order, something legal, also works in your favor. Some things that you have to face the truth, that's going to be key. So other things can, so those things can get out of the way and you can live your best life here with the justice card. That's extremely important. So you, you, you win this, something here that you score. It is a big yes, it is justice, it is victory for you. And you can continue with your own prosperity without feeling like you, um, you know, you, it, it, it's, it kind of gets taken away. No. No, it is very much yours, and that's to be celebrated as well, Capricorn. Like I said at the beginning, universe is smiling down at you, so don't worry. I love that. I love this. I think it's very, very important. Thank you so very much, Capricorn, for being here. I really hope that this was helpful, and please do let me know. I appreciate every single one of you. Please do take care, and until next time.